Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography and welcome to yet another brand new video on this channel and guys thank you for subscribing to this channel and yeah you I guess you guys are learning a lot from this channel and today I'm going to show you a simple way of how and why you need to do global dodging and burning to your portraits and the difference it brings to your images so stick around as you watch this tutorial and I guarantee that this tutorial is going to make changes to your photographer and it is going to make a big difference and it is going to improve your photography retouching skills so stick around as to, as you watch this specific tutorial and it is going to be about why you should do global doing, dodging and burning sorry why you should do global dodging and burning and how you can do it and as you can see this image right here was taken by a photographer he's called Toye photography i'm going to put his link down in the description so that you guys can follow him on his instagram and it was part of his photography retouching challenge so i jumped onto this challenge a while back so i'm going to use this image and i show you the advantages of a uh, global dodging and burning on your portraits and the changes and the difference it makes to your portraits and how you can do it so let me show you guys um let me show you guys so our image was initially like this so i'm already done with frequency separation and i use the mixer brush tool yeah i have so many videos about this you can check out the videos about skin retouching on this channel then i did some little enhancements i darkened the eyebrows and i darkened this hair so this is the image so i'll show you guys how i do my glo my global dodging and burning on my portrait so let me show you guys how first of all to create your layers and how to do your global dodging and burning so just come right here on your adjustment brush i don't want this video to be long so click on curves as you can see and this time first of all our very first layer the bottom layer uh we select in the middle and pull up so this is going to be our this is going to be our dodge layer remember we dodge the highlights and we burn the shadows and before i can go ahead uh the reason as to why we do the dodging and burning is because we want to enhance the highlights and bring out those contours and the shadows in the image remember uh when we use frequency separation it kind of made our image flat so we want to add shape and dimensions to our portrait so this is the reason as we do global dodging and burning remember this is a video about global dodging and burning it is not about micro dodging and burning so uh after brightening our curves as you saw uh make sure this white is selected then click ctrl i on the keyboard to invert that layer then come right again here and come and select curves then this time select a midpoint and now this time you darken so this is fine i'm going to close that make sure this is selected click ctrl i on the keyboard command i for mac users so i'm going to put this in a group click ctrl or you can just press shift and click on the lower one ctrl g to group them so i'm going to name this dodge and burn d and b i'm going to abbreviate that and i'm going to come to my i'm sorry I, I did not name this so let me name this uh this is going to be our burn remember the uh the one below was dodge it was our first layer so you can see this is it so usually what i do i i usually create a black and white layer on top of my burn layer make sure the black mask is selected come right here and I turn the image into black and white what this does it kind of uh, guides us when we are when we are enhancing our highlights and the shadows so usually uh, when you're doing this make sure you turn the reds all the way down and in this way now you can see where to do the dodging and burning so you can see the highlight right here on the forehead right here next to the cheekbone and below the chin and these collar bones right here yeah so and for the shadows you can see we have one here on the nose and you're going to burn here too so this is it 
So usually when I'm going to do a dodging and burning, after doing the frequency separation, I usually come down here and I turn off the frequency separation. Reason being, I want something natural and to get the original highlights and the shadows. So turn it off and I'm going to turn this off too. So you can see this is our image. So come to your dodge layer, make sure you click on this black mask and make sure white is on top. You can uh, make it default by just clicking here. Select your brush tool and make sure the opacity is really low. So I'm going to use the opacity of 12% for my dodging and burning and the flow is at 100% and right here is normal and it is a soft brush. So I'm going to start by uh, I'm going to dodge. Remember when you're dodging you dodge the highlights and when you're burning you burn the shadows. So uh, for dodging you enhance the highlights and for burning you enhance the shadows. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Increase my brush using the uh, right bracket on the keyboard. So I'm going to enhance this specific highlight. We have these highlights and I'm going to come right to the chin of the model and I'm going to enhance that and uh, this slip area I'm going to enhance this um, I'll enhance that now we're in the lip area and right now we have some little bit of light I'm going to enhance there too so on the forehead one just add shape to uh, the, the 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 forehead of the model so we have a highlight right there right there and here so I'll enhance this area to remember the highlight so I have to enhance that yeah, I think we are done with that so let me show you guys the progress and if at all you make an error while you're dodging and burning uh, make sure you toggle right here and get black on top and you can erase the area so I'm going to put this back white on top uh, click on your burn layer and right now we are going to burn and remember when we are burning we burn the shadows or we enhance the shadows by burning so I'm going to start brushing over every single area that has the shadows on this model so I'm going to so I'm, it's like I'm contouring uh, the model's face as you can see right now I'm going to come right here and um, enhance this particular area and it, it doesn't look nice so I'll, I'll select my black brush and I'm going to erase that area so this is fine so I'm going to come right um, I'm going to come right and put back my white brush and I'm going to burn this particular area so I'm going to turn on my these two layers and I'm going to turn off by clicking the eye on the black and white layer so be, uh, the before and after for our dodging and burning so this is the before and after before after if you feel this is really not enough for you and you want to darken all uh, these shadows the more just make sure your burn is selected click ctrl j on the keyboard you can see it is too much remember now we have two burn layers so just come and reduce on the opacity uh, to any uh, to intensify this so I'm doing this for the sake of a tutorial so that you guys can see uh, the difference dodging and burning brings to our portrait. So uh, just click on the black and white layer and drag it down to the trash can to delete it because right now we no longer need it. So I'm going to show you guys the before and after. Before, after, before, after. You can see how amazing and the beautiful transformation it has brought to this particular image. So guys dodging and burning really enhances your portraits and yeah for your next portraits if you haven't been doing dodging and burning please jump on and start doing dodging and burning it is really helpful and it brings the difference 
it brings this specific this difference to your images so you can see before after the image is not flat and it really looks beautiful so you should start doing your global dodging and burning to your portraits i'm running from Ronis photography and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment if at all you learned something from this video and big up story photography for this wonderful image i'm Ronis photography thank you for watching till next time